But from Sayyidina Ali, which Al-Sa'sa to one of his companions, asked him about the Dajjal. And he said, I can't tell you about the Dajjal, but I can tell you about the signs right before he comes. And then he mentioned several signs. Uh, in one of the why it's almost about 70 signs. And from amongst them, he said that you would see people with Anazul Salah. They would literally, the prayer would become dead, lifeless, routine. It would be routine and also many people would leave it. Now in the Islamic civilization, leaving the prayer did not happen. You did not have tariq salah People left the prayer, if they left it, it was their own business. Nobody knew about it because they would literally be taken to the muhakkamah. And this is a fact and you can see in the books of fiqh, it's mentioned about the hukum tariq salah But it is a modern phenomenon in which the Muslims have left the prayer. And there are Muslims all over the world now who do not pray. Which is extraordinary because the Prophet Sallallahu said in the Musnad of Imam Ahmed Al-Ahdu bayni wa baynukum as-salah Faman tarak as-salah faqad kafara the, the oath between me, what binding between me and you is the prayer. Whoever leaves the prayer has entered into kufr. Now, usually that's interpreted as kufran and ni'ma, and it's not a kufr, la yukhriju an al that it doesn't make them a non-Muslim unless they, they leave it uh, out of uh, not believing in it, like they don't believe in it or something like that. But Ahmed ibn Hanba was the opinion, no, that they were kafir. If they didn't pray, they were Kafir. Now, one of the interesting things about it, and I think he, there's some strength in his position, although the other three Imams uh, are opposed to that position and say that he's Muslim Asi and he's buried with the Muslim. But if you look in the hadith that's in the Muat of Imam Malik, Imam Malik relates a hadith in which the Prophet said he knows his Ummah by the Adar al Wudu. That that's how he's going to make shafa'a for us because he'll see the white on our skin from the, which means the light from the wudu, like hurmu hadgarin, like the horses that have the white on their legs and on their forehead. Now, if people aren't doing wudu, then where's the light? There's no light. And if there's no light, then how is the Messenger of Allah going to know them? And there will be some that he says, Ta'alu, Ta'alu, come, come. And the angels say, No, Badduru min ba'dik. They change things after you left. And he said, Suhqan, Suhqan. Go distance yourselves from me. So people should have fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.